Hey yo guys, what's up? Wrestling fan 0011 here to give you my WWE Elimination Chamber 2011 pay-per-view review as well as my thoughts on Sting being the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Now, first let's get to my Elimination Chamber review. I just got finished watching it today, and I gotta say, this is actually a very nice pay-per-view. I mean, this is practically WWE's I mean, this is practically the best WWE pay-per-view I've ever seen. Like, maybe next to WrestleMania 26. But this was, a bit, what, this was very nice. Very good. Alright, so let's get to it. So the first match was Alberto Del Rio versus Kofi Kingston. And this was a nice opener. This was really great fast-paced action. I mean, I, I, mean, I re didn't really like the feud. I mean, the feud wasn't really much of anything. We just, it was only on for like a couple weeks or so. So, I mean... I didn't really like, the feud wasn't really all that great. I mean, don't, okay, it was great, but I just, it was just a little too short. And the match was actually kind of cool. We did see some great high spots from Kofi, some great technical wrestling from uh, Alberto. The only thing I don't like was that it was like probably nine minutes long. And then, well, the ending was that Alberto forced Kofi to tap, to tap out with um, the, that arm bar, and then Kofi tapped. So Alberto wins. So it's a good opener, I guess. Very nice. Um, three stars. Alright, then we go to the first chamber match of the night for the World Heavyweight Championship. And it was uh, Edge, the champion, defending the title against Big Show, Drew McIntyre, Rey Mysterio, Kane, and Wade Barrett. And this is a very, very, very nice Elimination Chamber match. I mean, I was really, really... Sh I was shocked because... We didn't really see much talent in here, like, except for, like, Rey Mysterio. And, um, well, I mean, seriously, this was a very good chamber match. And, like, Wade Barrett, he took, like, a lot of a lot of punishment in this match. And I didn't like him being the first guy eliminated. He should have been, like, maybe the second guy. And Drew McIntyre. I gotta tell you, I don't like Drew McIntyre. Heck, I pretty much hate him. But he did do a lot in this match, and I respect him for that. So, seriously, this is a very good match. And then, well, actually, the final two men who were in the match were Edge and Rey Mysterio. And the wrestling that they did was maybe just a little bit better than their final, than the final minutes they had at No Way Out 2009. So, yeah, this is a very good match. Uh, so, yeah, I'm rating this four and a half stars. Very good match. All right, then the next match was for the WWE Tag Team Championships. The Core, Heath Slater and Justin Gabriel, against Santino and Kozlov. And this match, I didn't really know. I mean, it was okay, I guess. It was just like there. I'd say a uh, is what it is. But the it was actually not really that bad. I mean, it was kind of a comedy match or something. And the main thing I loved about this was when Santino used the Cobra, because I love the Cobra move. And, well, then the Core won the match. I can't remember how, and if you can tell me, tell me in the comments. Blue. So, um, my thoughts on the core being the tag team champions, I'm really glad, because then we might be able to see the core versus the Nexus at WrestleMania. And, um, well, I'm just, and I don't think Santino and Kozlov were great tag team champions at all. But, I mean, the match was okay, I guess. It was just there. Alright, I'm writing this two and a quarter stars. I'm just really glad the core won the tag team championships. Alright. Then we get to the most surprising match of the night, the WWE Championship match, The Miz versus Jerry the King Lawler. And like I said, I was really, really surprised. Seriously, I mean, Jerry Lawler, he really did put on a great show. I mean, he really did work hard in this match. And, well, seriously, it was actually not all that bad. I mean, yeah. So anyways, um, The Miz won the match with the Skull Crushing Finale, and I'm really glad that The Miz won, because, I mean, seriously... Most people on the internet, like on YouTube, they say that they wanted J Jerry Lawler to win. But, I mean, you do gotta admit, even if Jerry Lawler would win the WWE title, it would be okay. But, seriously, I mean, he is still 61 or 62 years old. I can't really tell. But, I mean, The Miz, it'd be great for him to go into the tag team match. I mean, it'd be great for him to go into WrestleMania as the champion, because then... We might see a great match between him and Cena now. So, yeah, I mean, I'm really glad. I'm really happy The Miz won. But it was still, but Jerry Lawler still did put on a heck of a show here. 
But I'm going to rate this two and three quarter stars because, I mean, seriously, well, yeah, you know what I mean. It was only two and three, I'm only rating this two and three quarters. If it would have gone like maybe a little bit longer, it would have been maybe three stars too. But seriously, I'm just really glad that it is one. All right. And then we go to the main event, which was the Elimination Chamber match, and the winner gets a shot at WrestleMania uh, 27. Uh, it was John Cena, CM Punk, Randy Orton, King Sheamus, R-Truth, and John Morrison. This was a very good match. I mean, seriously. In this match, we, you knew this was going to be a good match because they had such great talent in this match. But the only thing I didn't like in this match was where... Uh, where CM Punk's pod malfunctioned. That was kind of screwed up right there. And Morrison's spot off the K, off the top of, like, the, off the, like, top of the Elimination Chamber structure was really insane. And it made it kind of look like how John Morrison would be easily adept to the Steel Asylum match in TNA, but we might not see the Steel Asylum match because TNA is a four-sided ring. All right, and this is a very good match. And, well... John Cena did win, so that was kind of predictable. I mean, I would have liked to see, like, maybe John Morrison win, but I kind of knew that. I kind of did know at the same time that John Morrison wouldn't probably win. And if King Sheamus won, I would have been really pissed, because he's already been WWE Champion, and I hate Sheamus. And our truth winning? I would say no, not yet. He is a great athlete, I will admit, but... I'm just not really looking, I just don't really know about our truth being a main eventer just yet. CM Punk winning, though, that would actually be kind of cool. Seriously, I mean, CM Punk, I mean, he's actually a great straight-edge athlete, and he's a great wrestler, and he's good on the mic. He's a good wrestler, and he would be World Heavyweight Championship material, so if CM Punk would have won, that would have been okay. And Randy Orton winning, uh, would have been okay, I guess. So, um, John Cena did win the match, so it was pretty predictable. But it was still a good, so it still was a good chamber match, except for that pod malfunction with CM Punk. So, yeah, I'm rating this four and a quarter stars. And overall, this is a very good pay-per-view. Definitely check this out. I'm rating this 8.25 out of 10. And that's all I have for you. But now, let's get to my thoughts on Sting being the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. I don't know. I don't really don't know. I mean, I'm really glad Jeff Hardy's not the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, but they could have picked someone way better. Like, they could have picked, like, maybe Rob Van Dam or something, because Rob Van Dam wanted to get his hands on Jeff Hardy and the TNA World Heavyweight Championship, and they haven't used Rob Van Dam yet. So seriously, they should have picked him. I mean, maybe they could have also picked, like, I don't know, like, maybe Mr. No, wait, they couldn't pick Mr. Anderson. And so I don't know. But Sting returning, the fans were going really insane and all, and they did like it when Sting won, so the fan reaction was pretty cool. But I don't know about Sting, like, holding the title for a long time, but I'm just really glad someone is the TNA World Heavyweight Champion other than Jeff Hardy. So, I don't know, it, it's okay, I guess. But I'm, I just think they could have picked someone way better. But, overall, Sting is okay I, as a World Heavyweight Champion, I guess. So, that's all the time I have for you now. I'm Wrestling Fan. Oh, by the way, before I also go, um, if there's any other reviewers out there or um, people who watch reviews, if you think my review is good or something, if you think it was good or bad or, I don't know, like, not good at all or okay, then tell me in the comments below. So, that's all the time I have for you. I'm, Tra I'm Wrestling Fan 0011. I'm out. Peace.